when there is a need to execute specific method repeatedly at regular intervals, the best way to accomplish this would be to use a timer, the timer class. Instantiating the timer class, we can pass over four arguments. The first is the name of the method we want to execute concurrently. The second is the argument we want to pass over to that specific method. Meaning that when say hello will be executed concurrently to, our, to the rest of our code, the cuckoo string will be passed over as an argument to the data parameter. The third argument is the first delay, the delay that takes place till the say hello method will start its execution. The fourth argument is a delay that we shall have between each execution and the next one. Let's execute this specific code sample and see that in the beginning we have only that cuckoo string. After that we get the cuckoo and only after some time we get the qua 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 text. If we go over the code we can see three timers the initial delay of the timer responsible for printing, printing out qua 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 is 8 seconds. The initial delay for printing, printing kukuriku is 5 seconds. So this is why we first see just the kuku and only after, after some time we start to see kukuriku and after that the qua qua qua.